In this course, we'll recover how to test and repair brake system hydraulic components. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to identify how to test and replace the master cylinder, original and non-original manufacturer lines, hoses, valves, and the height sensing proportioning valve, rebuild and replace a caliper and wheel cylinder, and bleed the system. When the brakes are not functioning correctly, first ensure the vehicle is safe to drive, then perform a road test. Once you have verified the concern, begin by checking the hydraulic system. If the fluid is low, the brake warning lamp may be on. Refill the master cylinder reservoir and step on the brake pedal five to ten times. The master cylinder housing may be porous or cracked. Check the housing for leaks or excessive dampness. If the master cylinder housing does not appear damaged, then recheck the brake fluid level after 10 minutes. If the fluid level was low to begin with or it has dropped during testing, you will need to inspect the hydraulic system further. Do not merely top off the fluid level and return the vehicle to the customer without performing a thorough inspection of the brake system. First, perform a visual inspection under the hood of the vehicle. Then, raise the vehicle on a hoist and inspect the brake lines for cracks, bends, or kinks. Make sure you have checked any components under the hood before you raise the vehicle. Hoses should be flexible and free of any debris. Inspect for cracks, leaks, cuts, or other damage. Wheel cylinders and calipers should not be damaged and should be free of corrosion, brake fluid, and grease. Wheel cylinders should not have any fluid leaking from them. The next inspection is the trapped air test. Trapped air produces a low, softer than normal brake pedal. This test determines if air is trapped in the hydraulic system. Select each tab for more information. When finished, select Next to continue. Make sure the master cylinder is full. Loosely cover the master cylinder with the cap. Do not secure it. Since you are not securing the cap, brake fluid may spray out, so be sure to wear goggles. Cover the vehicle so the finish does not get damaged. Have another technician step on the brakes about 20 times. On the last application, have the technician hold the brake pedal down. Remove the master cylinder cap. Have the technician quickly release the brake pedal. If air is trapped, you may see a geyser of brake fluid erupt within the reservoir. If air is trapped, you will need to bleed the system. We will cover bleeding the system at the end of this course. This test may not always produce conclusive results, especially if the brake fluid reservoir is located remotely. The last inspection is the external leak test. This test determines if fluid is leaking externally due to a cracked master cylinder reservoir, faulty seals, loose connections, or leaking lines or hoses. With the engine running and in neutral, hold the brake pedal down firmly and steadily for at least 15 seconds. The pedal should be about 1 to 2 inches, 2.54 to 5.08 centimeters from the floor. You should not feel the pedal drop under this pressure. If the pedal drops, check the entire hydraulic system for leaks. If there are no visible leaks, you will need to perform the internal leak test.